If you were looking for the least biased thoughts of this game, you've come to the right place. I'm about to do research on a game I have not seen an ounce of. I'm gonna find out everything you need to know for this game and whether or not you should get it on release. Oh You'll take part in an independent study this game program. Looks ass. That's all for this video. Make sure to subscribe. If somehow you don't know anything about this game, I'm gonna quickly go through everything that's new. First off, it's open world. Look at the map. It looks great. It looks big. Bunch of shit to explore. And no loading zones like Arceus. These are the starter Pokemon. They look really cool, except for that cat. I fucking hate that cat. I hate it! We got the two different versions and their legendaries. You can ride the legendaries. Scarlet represents like Ooga Booga Caveman years, and Violet is the futuristic version. Lechonk is in the game. Lechonk is in the game. Lechonk is in the game. In combat, there's a new thing called Terra types. This shit whack. There are 18 Terra types, and you can choose to either enhance your own type or change it and use it for all sort of strategies, like same type attack bonus or stab for all you big nerds. And it's gonna be four player multiplayer, but the world, the exploration, the multiplayer capabilities, they all sound very fun in and of itself. There's only one problem. Wait, wait, freeze frame. What, what the hell? You got two dead bushes. That are this they oh my god, why does it look so bad? Holy crap, I take it all back. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful landscape. If only that was fucking Scarlet and Violet. Breath of the Wild. Why does this look so much better than this? What the hell is that? You can see the edges, you can see the textures are horrible. You can see the grass loading in as you walk every step. It is so close to you. I don't know if it's the game engine, but somehow Breath of the Wild looks so much better, even when these two games are on the same console. And one is released five years earlier. What's your excuse at that point? I get that the graphics aren't gonna be a reason why you turn down the game because the Switch is not very good for handling that kind of stuff in the first place. But how will the need for performance also affect the content? It looks like outside of these regions, the wilderness looks kind of bland. So don't be surprised if this game ends up turning out <laughs> Ew, dude, why are you breathing like that? It sounds like you just ate like 50 Big Macs. What's going on? Open world is a big, big selling point for this game. This is why people want to get the game. If the open world aspect of it, the traveling, everything, if it's bad, that's a bad game. And you know what I don't like? good games. So congratulations! <laughs> In all seriousness, I didn't know anything about this game, and when I watched the trailers, it kind of got me hyped up. Besides the graphics, this looks like a good game. But what are they hiding from us? What real secrets, deep dark secrets are they hiding from us? Is this all we have? Is this it? Is there anything else to this game? Or is it shit? Shit! Bad and shit! Are they just playing Ed Sheeran? to make us forget how shit the game is gonna be. I have some questions for this game that has been left unanswered so far. How far does the exploration go? Can you even open any of these doors? What does multiplayer actually give you? I'm guessing you can't do campaign stuff together. Is exploring and this weird Gigamax monochrome bitch made battle mode all we get? And trading, but who cares about trading? I get Legends of Arceus had loading zones, but how come there's such a drastic difference graphically? And why don't Pokemon have genitals? How are you supposed to tell the difference between a male and a female? And where did you hide my family? So the verdict, do I recommend getting this game on release? Unless you loved other recent Pokemon games, including Sword and Shield, the answer is almost always gonna be no. This game looks like what people expected Sword and Shield to be. And I do believe this is gonna be a huge step up from something like that. But Pokemon games have disappointed in the past. The best bet is to wait for game critics to give you an idea of what the game's actually gonna be like. Then you can see if it's worth your money. But don't let me stop you, okay? I'm just like a, I'm a stupid little guy. I, I just dance around. I actually, I crawl into people's attics and do a little gnome dance. For diehard Pokemon fans, obviously you're gonna get it no matter what. I don't even know why you're watching this video. Why are you watch, fuck you. No, fuck you! I doubt that Ed Sheeran music's gonna be in the game, but the actual OST is pretty good. Toby Fox, the man, the myth, the legend himself, created a good amount of these songs. Well, what the fuck is this medieval shit? What am I, what am I going into? <laughs> you know, I'm hopping into the Irish pub, bitch. What's up? Bitch, I'm gonna pee like a strong. Me and your mom, we bond. Got into your house with my clap key. Look at them, your mom, all week. Two big pillars like Conqueror. Please don't trip and stumble, sir. I mean, bitch, what you get your mouth? My guys, I just got the community posts, baby. The idea of polls is so good now because I can ask you questions and not have it be in videos. Exciting stuff. Oh, f I just dropped something. <laughs> Let me know what you guys want to see. I am going to start working on a full Silk Song song.